Hello everyone, this is Thomas. I wanted to share this with you guys because I thought it was pretty darn cool. It's a game called Minecraft, uh, which is a sandbox game. It's like, you know, you can just do pretty much whatever you want. So, I want to show you a little bit about it. So basically, it can, it just randomly generates a world, like an entire world. It's all, you know, very simple, like blocks. You'll see what I mean in just a second. But uh, no matter what you do in it, it completely saves all the changes you make in it. So like you start the game out with like nothing. You can see down at the bottom I have all these tools here. Still loading the... there we go. There it goes. Building, building, building. Alright. So this is Minecraft. Uh, you can see my mine, which I made myself. That used to just be a hill. And I made all of this stuff here. So basically the way it works is you use these tools and you can like, you know, escape, uh, sculpt the landscape to your liking. And you can see I collect anything that I destroy. So if I got my inventory here, there's me with my gold helmet and my really lame boots. I don't know how to make armor. <laughs> I'm really lame. But for example, if I wanted to, like, see I collected some wood here, and I can turn that into refined wood, and I can take that and create sticks. And so, you know, you can create, you know, use all these ingredients to create different tools. Like I've got, like, a mining pick here, which is good for collecting rocks, a sword for attacking uh, beasts, I can create ladders, torches, I mean, you'll, you'll see, I, I did a whole bunch of stuff here. So, yes, yeah, so I just started off by creating a mine, and I created this little structure here, which you can see goes all the way up to the top. Might as well climb up there. Uh-oh, it's getting dark, no, it's just a cloud. But yeah, time does change in this game, so... If you gotta make sure you have a pretty good graphics card to play this game on a high resolution. My quadro card is showing its age. So this, you know, you can imagine this. So you can get a good view of the world. See, so there's a cow down there. But I mean, if you just kept walking, it would just keep going like it never stops. I don't think there's a limit to how large the world can be. However, the farther you go, the uh, the uh, larger the file size gets. So if I was to jump off here, I'd die. So I'm going to see if I can get down here safely without dying. Oop. Okay. I have it on easy mode, so I automatically regenerate health down there. So let's go into my mine. I really wish it wasn't going slow. Hold on a second. Okay, we're back again, and it's loading much better. So you can see my house here, and we've got the glass ceiling I just recently put in. I'm not an interior decorator at all. This was totally just a mine that I decided, oh, I guess it needs more space. I was not thinking about, hmm, how do I want this to look? Do I want to put it in a staircase? Do I want to put it in a window? No, did not do that. Would have been nice, and see, here's the pointless door that leads to nowhere. It's always awesome. So you can see we can go down here into my mine. I've got a bunch of different passageways. And uh, it is not a small mine. I, I did spend most of my time mining. So you can see there's a few passageways there that lead outside. And yeah, so it goes on. And uh, you can see I dug it down pretty darn deep here. You can see it goes on and on. and. That's where the dwarves dug too deep and too greedily. And I didn't really get much from that anyways. Ooh, but I did get this nice diamond pick as a result, which cuts through anything in like five seconds. So, probably doesn't look very nice. Because you can kind of just put things wherever you want. And if you don't like it, you can get rid of it. So, you can see there are plenty of torches to go around because uh, you probably wouldn't be able to see anything if I didn't 
because there's no natural lighting in the game. It's uh, all done by some sort of 8-bit sun. So I'm just going to go deep into the more interesting part of my mine. You can see it goes on for a while. And you're like, geez, Thomas, how long did this take you? Well, you have to understand that this game is kind of addictive, and if you <laughs> mine for a while and don't bear any sort of, like, you know, uh, materials, you're like, oh, I've got a lot of dirt, that's awesome. You kind of just want to keep going until you find something. So you can see there's a little water trench down here that I discovered. But what was the big find was this giant pre rendered cavern like this used to be a giant pit that just went on forever with some water down at the bottom and I was like sweet so basically I mean you find these giant caves and you just want to explore so you can see I made this more hospitable I put in stairs put in this uh, ramp here so that you're not as likely to fall down but uh, it gets you know you think oh how deep does this go oh, this, this. <laughs> it gets deep see there's more of it down there and you know it it's probably just the kid in me that used to love digging holes and, and actually uh, I hate to admit it still loves digging holes in the sand when I go to the beach if I'm not swimming in the water I'm probably digging a hole so there are holes all over the place in here so I guess this is a good place to go this is where I first started finding good materials like gold and the much sought after red dust, which apparently produces electricity. I don't really think it's that great. Uh, I don't know if I rode this water where it would take me. If I can go down this little happy... Oh, I'm, I'm underwater now. It's not one. I don't want that. I want to ride the waves. Whee! As long as it doesn't lead me into lava. Okay. So, this keeps going down apparently. I could swim down it, but I don't want to know where it takes me, so... If I go down deeper here, see, there's the lava. See, this is where I did not want to fall into lava and die because I have lots of really nice stuff in my inventory, like a gold helmet that I would not like to lose. So, so you can see here that there is some, like, there's something you can mine over there. This is coal. So if I dug that, I could pick that up and get some charcoal. You can see I built myself a little safe bridge over the lava. And see, I have no way of mining this, so I'd have to put down like some kind of dirt. Oh, you see that? That is red ore. What a nice surprise. I get to show you guys how to get this stuff. Okay, can I get this? Oh, it's playing some nice mining music for me, I guess. The question is, if I mine this, will lava flow in and instantly destroy what I was going for? Looking at this, it does not look like that would be the case. So, let's get it. Sweet. So now you can see that I have a lovely pile of red whatever this is in my inventory. And if I wanted to, I could use it to make magical glowing sticks or compass. I don't know how to make a compass, but apparently you can do that. So, I'll just show you a little bit more about this awesome, awesome game. Um, you can see here that if you mix water with lava, it creates this impenetrable black melts or, you know, pumice or whatever this is. Oh wow, this music is getting really loud. So, if, uh, if I had enemies turned on, there would normally be, like, zombies and orcs in here trying to kill me, but I am way too much of a whip for that, and I just thought, I just wanted to dig uninterrupted. So that's what I did. So, uh, yeah, this is Minecraft. It's a free game you can download, uh, and, uh, very slow minimum requirements. I guess you just need at least half a gig, so 